You know who's not laughing? Everyone involved in the Vanderpump Rules cheating scandal. The last thing I was expecting was to be judged on like getting drunk and having fun. I've been a wreck, but I'm trying to put on a brave face. That's newly single Ariana Maddox just back from a Mexican getaway and breaking her silence, saying to call her quote, devastated and broken is an understatement. Her post last night comes exactly two weeks after she discovered that her partner of nine years, Tom Sandoval, was secretly hooking up with co-star Raquel Levis for months. Raquel now is wild and free. I'm focusing more on myself. Ariana wrapped up her post with what felt like a warning. Quote, what doesn't kill me, better run. Are you having anxiety? <laughs> Panic yeah. attack? Here, get out. Raquel wasn't running, but in last night's episode, shot pre-scandal in late summer, she did break down. We did not re-edit tonight's episode of Vanderpump Rules. It was as it happened. And yep, Andy Cohen called it. Looking back with the cheating scandal in mind, here's some moments we're side-eyeing today. I'm starting to see a pattern in Raquel. It seems that she's only interested in men that her friends are either married to or interested in, and that is a big red flag for me. Then the irony of this. People were calling you a mistress. Why do you think that is? He was married. And. Look at this up. Oh my God. Hey. Check out Sandoval's look when Raquel crashes the boys' night out and gives him a hug. There's speculation this was the night their affair actually started. E.T. has learned the Vanderpump reunion is set to tape next Thursday, but it's complicated by the fact that Raquel has filed a restraining order against co-star Sheena Shea. Sheena is denying Raquel's claim that she punched her. And there's more breaking Bravo news. Don't act like our marriage was awesome. I didn't say it was... that. Juan Dixon from Real Housewives of Potomac has reportedly been fired from his job as head basketball coach at Coppin State University. Juan was named in a sexual assault lawsuit involving a member of his coaching staff. During the season seven reunion, his wife Robin came to his defense. The wrongdoings that they are saying that Juan did did not happen. And it's just unfortunate that Juan was kind of used as clickbait to really push this story.